Hello my friends, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Dana. I am a single mom, low income, doing everything on a budget, and my income just changed to where I'm going to be getting paid weekly instead of bi-weekly. So I wanted to do a little setup with you and kind of explain to you um, in case you see my future videos or my videos, kind of what has been going on with my budget. All right, so this is four weeks worth of stuff, right? So we're just going to put um, weekly right in there. Why not, right? So we have rent. And my rent every single month until it changes is $500. Now, why is my rent so awesomely low? because I am low income, I moved to a very rural community in Colorado, and I was able to get on Section 8 within a year. And when I was in Rhode Island before, I was on the waiting list for like six years and never got anywhere. So it's kind of awesome. Everything happens for a reason. Possibly that's why I was in Colorado. I don't know, but thank God it transfers everywhere. So my rent, though, every single month is $500. If I break this up into weekly installments, installments, there is usually four weeks in a month, right? And so what I'm doing is I'm just dividing everything by four. So I have $125 is how much I'm going to have to pay a week. So that way on the first, everything is paid. And I don't have to worry about, you know my whole entire paycheck going toward that rent. So I have electric. Now my electric does fluctuate. It's been as low as like 60 bucks before and it's been as high as $200. So I am just going to be doing an estimation of $100 a month. And so yes, it could go up. Yes, it could go down. But as long as I have that $100 next month or the previous in the future month, um, I'll be able to just stick money toward that and pay whatever it is instead of putting it into my sinking fund. So we have electric, we have gas, which is national grid. This is not gas for my car. So national grid. And this one right here, again, it has been anywhere from $100 to, you know, as low as $20. $12. So as of right now, I'm kind of going in the middle and I'm doing $40 a month, which means that weekly I will be putting $10 toward that. Insurance for my car. Now this one, it's always all over the place. So $120 is the average. And that is going to be $30 a week. My internet. Just internet. No Disney Plus. No, you know, extra stuff is um, $99 for, um, what do I have? Verizon. I have Verizon. I'm trying to, to find out if there's another one because I know Cox, if you are low income, um, they've been doing a lot to help people, but I'm not 100% sure if I will qualify. So for this one right here, I'm just going to put $100 and it brings it to $25. My phone is I pay right now $45 a month. Now I am looking into phone payment plans. Um, that would be like a family plan for my kids and stuff. So if worse comes to worse, I'm just gonna take some white out and go right over this. But as of right now, you know, it's that's what I pay. So this is going to be $12. I do have a storage unit because I have absolutely no closets in my house. Um, the storage unit is $100 a month. Actually, for some reason, this month it was $103, which, yeah, I was very surprised about that. But that is $25 a month if I'm budgeting $100. TD bank fee. 
This one right here is $7, which is not a lot. And I don't even think it's that much, but it's whatever. So I'm going to put in, it's actually $1.75. But I'm not going to budget change, so I'm always going to round that up to $2. I'm okay with that. Amazon. I do have Amazon Prime, which is about $7 a month. If you are low income, just send them a copy of anything that you get from the state. So if you get food stamps, if you get medical, if you get cash assistance, um, anything like that, they'll be able to work with you. So $7 divided by 4 is $1.75. Walmart. I got this one to kind of help me out. It is $13 a month. I got this one so that way I don't have to constantly go to the store with everything going on. So $3.25 is 13 divided by the 4. Then I have TD bank and this right here is going to be my credit card now my credit card has been fluctuating lately but usually it's about $35 a month it's what they want and so I am gonna budget nine dollars 35 divided by four again nine dollars JC Penny this is my credit card. Now, I've been getting these credit cards because I'm trying to build up credit so that way um, my credit score goes up and I can buy a house. That is my end goal. So, again, $35 is the average. $9 is the weekly. I have a Burlington. A Burlington um, credit card. And this one again, $35. And for this one, again, it is going to be $9. And then the last one that I am paying monthly is Hot Topic, which is a credit card. It's usually where I get my kids' clothes from. So this comes to $9. Okay, so I just went and got my what you know, call it? my calculator. So with all of this being said, I have 125, 25, 10, 30, 25, 12, 25, a dollar. Oh, I put that's wrong, but it's a dollar seventy-five. There we go. $1.75, $3.25, $2.25, $3.25, $2.25, $2.25, $2.25, $2.25, $2.25, $2.25, $2.25, $2.25, $2.25, $2.25, $2.25, $2.25, $2.25, $2.25, $2.25, $2.25,
I'll be able to be like, okay, so I know what all of this is going to cost every single month. This is how much it actually costs. I'm going to put down um, my main total, which is how much everything added up to and how much I need to make. This one right here is how much I had to add or subtract or, you know, God only knows. But another good thing is that if I have this and I'm like, okay, so my car insurance this month was $80 instead of 120 and every single month I put $30 down so I'm gonna have um, some money left at the end of the month and I can just either roll that over and cut down my weekly or I can take that extra money and use it in case you know that one time where for some reason they want to charge me a um, hundred and twenty seven dollars for car insurance because it fluctuated you know, so it's just, it's good to have a guideline and you can always change it like, you know, month to month, week to week. If you feel like for some reason your electric bill has been even more and it's $150 a month, go ahead and change that number. So that way next week you'll just start saving, you know, for the $150 instead of the $100 and it will all add up in the end. Um, so it always just covers you, especially when you get paid weekly, because when I was getting paid bi-weekly, my first check went straight toward rent. I didn't pay anything else unless I desperately had to, like my rent, my storage, uh, my Amazon fees, the things that I knew that came out, and then I would struggle for the next two weeks, which I'm okay with that. Some people aren't. Some people are like, hey, look, I need to buy food, and if I have to buy you know, food, especially with the way that prices are right now, and, you know, it's either pay my storage unit or feed my kids. Of course, you're going to feed your kids. So it was just something that I like to do when I was getting paid bi-weekly. But knowing that I'm now getting paid weekly, this is how it adds up. And this is my, my kind of assurance that my bills will be getting paid every single month. Now, the reason why I'm able to do this as well is because when I got a bonus check, I just went ahead and I paid my rent. So that way I'm not like, hey, I'm not going to pay you this month, but I'll pay you next month when I have that $125, you know, a week. So right now, that bonus just, it paid my rent, it paid my internet, it paid my storage, it paid all of that stuff. So I am now like month to month, I am okay and I'm saving for the future. Now, sometimes you can do like that three to six month and then you put a little bit money down and then when you finally have an extra month's rent um, saved up you just throw that on there and then you start breaking it down if that's something that you have to do to fit into your budget that is you know perfect you do what works for you and for your budget not every budget is the same not everybody budgets the same and if you look at every creator on youtube who is showing you how to budget it's going to be the same exact way everybody budgets differently you take bits and pieces what works for everyone and what works for you from their examples if that makes sense hopefully it does i'm not sure <laughs> i'm rambling again but with that being said i just want to say thank you guys so much for staying till the end and i hope that you do subscribe and that you do like this channel and that i do see you in the future so i hope you have a great day all right guys bye